in right now, Sebastian's parents say they are focusing on staying hopeful in all of this for Sebastian's return, even as the search we know is now changing. And for more on that part of the story, we're going to check in with my colleague, Danielle Ledbetter. Good afternoon, Led Danielle. Yeah, Holly, so today law enforcement officials told me they have thrown everything they possibly can at this search, but now they're shifting their focus. At this time, the decision's been made to scale back on the ground search operations. The announcement is coming eight days into the search for 15-year-old Sebastian Rogers. Law enforcement said the decision did not come lightly. Uh, let me be clear that this does not diminish our commitment to finding Sebastian. This is simply us transitioning from the ground search to the investigative side. They will continue to keep the command center open and prepare to respond if someone spots the teen. They're still seeking information from the public. Uh, the sheriff's office continues to urge families to check your properties, uh, to check your cameras. No detail is too small. And tonight, a lot of questions still remain, but law enforcement officials did not take any additional questions at today's press conference. But they did say there's no indication that Sebastian is not alive.